What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another audio assemble tutorial. Today we are going to be taking a look at three different ways to make a track inactive in your Pro Tools session. So the first way we are going to look at is with the tracks window on both the mix and edit windows, this little track section here. So here you'll see every channel that you have available in your session listed there and there. So the easiest way to make a track inactive from there is literally click that little gray circle and you see it removes it completely, it hides it and makes it inactive. It doesn't just hide it. So if I play this only other channel that's playing and then hit mute, you'll notice that there is no other audio playing. Easy as that. And to bring it back, all you gotta do is press that little gray circle. You can also do that on this side take it away and bring it back. Say you want to make a track inactive, but not make it hidden. You can do that by going to the track name itself in either the mix or edit window, right click and click make inactive. You can do that on this side, make it active again, and then make it inactive. And you'll see that it grays out the channel itself. Uh, the, the entire channel strip itself is grayed out. That's an easy way to tell that a channel is inactive. And then to bring it back, obviously just right click and click make active. And the final way that I like to use most often, honestly, if I'm ever making something inactive is I go over to the mix window and you'll see these little images at the bottom of every channel. Those have to do with what kind of channel it is. This one is an audio channel. That's why you see the waveform. This one is an aux send. That's why you see the arrow. And this is the master bus. So the way you make it inactive over here is you click on that image and click make inactive. Simple as that. And then you click it again, and click make active. And you can do that with any other channel. You can do that with a aux send. You can do that with a master bus even. It's simple as that. And then, like I said, click it again and then make active. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like and comment down below. Tell us about any information that you want to see in the future. Make sure you subscribe for more content like this in the future where we can help you out with your sessions. And check out audioassemble.com for all the latest reviews and comparisons in the audio world.